Ellen Burstyn is a highly respected and accomplished actress who has made a significant impact in the film industry. With a career spanning over five decades, she has captivated audiences with her diverse and nuanced performances. Burstyn was born in Detroit, Michigan in 1932 and began her career on the stage before transitioning to film and television. She quickly made a name for herself with her powerful and emotive acting style, earning critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Throughout her career, Burstyn has been nominated for six Academy Awards, winning the Best Actress Award for her role in the 1974 film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. She has also won two Emmy Awards and a Tony Award, making her one of the few performers to achieve the triple crown of acting. Burstyn has also been a strong advocate for women's rights and has used her platform to speak out on issues such as gender equality and sexual harassment in the entertainment industry. She has been a mentor and role model for countless young actors and has left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout her career, Burstyn has always remained dedicated to her craft and has continued to push boundaries as an actress. Her contributions to the entertainment industry are enduring and her legacy will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Ellen Burstyn is a highly respected actress known for her work in films such as The Last Picture Show, The Exorcist, and Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, for which she won an Academy Award. You may have first seen her in one of these movies or in a TV show like Political Animals or Lewis. Do you have a special memory associated with Ellen Burstyn? When did you first recognize her talent? We'd love to hear your stories and personal experiences related to this classic star. Throughout her long and varied career, Ellen Burstyn has brought many fascinating characters to life. From heartwarming to terrifying, her performances have left a lasting impression on audiences. As we delve into the life and career of Ellen Burstyn, we'll uncover some surprising, funny, and even shocking facts. So stay tuned to learn more about this remarkable actress. Ellen Burstyn, born Edna Ray Gillily in Detroit, Michigan, had a modest upbringing. Her father, John Austin Gillily, was a factory worker, and her mother, Corinne Marie, was a housewife. She has Irish, French-Canadian, and Pennsylvania-German ancestry. Burstyn's family moved frequently due to her father's job, and they eventually settled in Texas. It was there that Burstyn's interest in acting began. She participated in school plays and community theater productions, which fueled her passion for the craft. At the age of 18, Burstyn moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. She studied at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and worked as a model to support herself. During this time, she met influential figures in the theater world who would become her mentors, including Lee Strasberg, the founder of the Actors Studio. Strasberg's method acting technique had a profound impact on Burstyn's approach to acting. She became a dedicated student of his, and her talent and commitment led to her being invited to join the Actors Studio as a member in 1967. Burstyn's early exposure to acting through school and community theater productions, as well as her mentors, including Lee Strasberg, played a significant role in shaping her career as an accomplished actress. Ellen Burstyn, an accomplished actress, significantly influenced the film industry during her era and beyond. She began her career in the 1950s and quickly made her mark with her naturalistic acting style. Burstyn's contribution to Hollywood is substantial, including her remarkable performances in films like The Last Picture Show, The Exorcist, and Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, for which she won an Academy Award. Burstyn's impact on the industry extends beyond her acting. In 1980, she founded the Actor Studio West, providing a space for actors to grow and develop their craft. Additionally, she has been a strong advocate for women's rights and the representation of women in film. Burstyn's influence on the film industry is undeniable. Her commitment to her craft, her advocacy for women, and her dedication to fostering the growth of future actors have left an indelible mark on Hollywood. She continues to be an active and vital voice in the industry, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. Ellen Burstyn's passion for acting was sparked at a young age when she saw a stage production of Life with Father in her hometown of Detroit. She was fascinated by the actor's ability to bring the characters to life and make the audience believe in the story. This experience ignited a fire within her, 
and she knew that she wanted to be a part of this magical world. Burston's desire to act was further fueled when she started taking drama classes in high school. She found that acting allowed her to express herself in ways she never thought possible. She loved the feeling of becoming someone else and the challenge of making the audience believe in her performance. After high school, Burston moved to New York City to pursue her acting career. She struggled at first, but she never gave up on her dream. She worked odd jobs to support herself while taking acting classes and auditioning for roles. Her hard work and dedication paid off when she landed her first Broadway role in Fair Game in 1957. Burston's passion for acting has never waned. She continues to challenge herself with diverse roles and has become one of the most respected actresses in the industry. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to bring characters to life have earned her numerous accolades including an Academy Award for Best Actress in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. In conclusion, Ellen Burstyn's passion for acting was sparked at a young age and has only grown stronger over the years. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to bring characters to life have made her one of the most respected actresses in the industry. Ellen Burstyn, an accomplished actress, played the role of Alice Hyatt in the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore which she brought to Martin Scorsese and for which he was hired to direct. Surrounding himself with a capable team, Scorsese's staff included Sandra Weintraub as associate producer, Marsha Lucas as film editor, and Toby Carr Ravelson as production designer. In same time, next year, Burston earned a Best Actress Oscar nomination for portraying a character experiencing labor and birth, one of 19 actresses to receive such a nomination. Other notable nominees include Louis Reiner, Jane Wyman, Elizabeth Taylor, Leslie Karen, Shirley MacLaine, Vanessa Redgrave, Genevieve Bujol, Marsha Mason, Anne Margaret, Jessica Lange, Meryl Streep, Samantha Morton, Elliot Page, Gabri Sidib, Ruth Nega, Yalitza Aparicio, and Vanessa Kirby. Burston's performance in Requiem for a Dream was transformative as she wore 20 and 40 pound fat suits and prosthetic necks to portray Sarah Goldfarb. Her dedication to the role showcased her versatility and commitment to her craft. Ellen Burstyn, born Edna Ray Gillily, faced many challenges on her path to becoming a successful actress. Raised in a blue-collar family in Michigan, Burstyn's family struggled financially. After her parents divorced, she and her siblings were separated and she had to work to support herself from a young age. Despite these hardships, Burstyn was determined to pursue her dream of acting. She moved to Texas and then to New York City, where she faced skepticism from industry professionals who doubted her talent and potential. To make ends meet, she took on various jobs, including working as a model and a secretary. Burstyn's resilience and determination paid off when she landed her first significant acting role in the Playfair game in 1957. However, she continued to face obstacles, including being typecast in certain roles and struggling to find work. To overcome these challenges, Burstyn took matters into her own hands. She founded the Actors Studio West in Los Angeles, which provided a space for actors to hone their craft and develop their skills. She also began producing and directing her own projects, giving herself and other actors more opportunities to showcase their talents. Burston's creative solutions and unwavering determination helped her overcome the obstacles she faced early on in her career. Her resilience and perseverance serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors and anyone facing challenges in their pursuit of their dreams. Ellen Burston, in her role as Alice Hyatt in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, won the Academy Award for Best Actress. However, she was unable to attend the ceremony and asked Martin Scorsese to accept the award on her behalf, requesting that he also thank himself. Burston expressed regret in her autobiography for not taking producer credit for the project, a role she undertook in finding and bringing it to the studio and for hiring Scorsese. In The Exorcist, Burston played Chris McNeil. Her son, who was around nine or 10 years old when the film was released, wanted to see it, but Burston refused, deeming him too young. Two years later, on his 14th birthday, he requested a screening of the film as a birthday present, which Burston arranged. After watching the film, he told Burston that she had been right, and he had been too young to see it when he first asked. 
Ellen Burstyn's career has been marked by several breakthrough moments, each revealing her exceptional talent and adaptability. In 1971, Burstyn's role in The Last Picture show earned her first Academy Award nomination, highlighting her ability to portray complex characters. Her collaboration with director Martin Scorsese and Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore brought her critical acclaim and a Best Actress Oscar. Scorsese praised Burstyn's incredible range and emotional depth, which allowed her to make Alice a real, living, breathing woman. Another milestone was her chilling performance in The Exorcist, a film that left a lasting impact on horror cinema. Her portrayal of a mother struggling with her daughter's possession was highly praised, and the role further solidified Burstyn's status as a versatile actress. Burstyn's work in Requiem for a Dream also earned her critical acclaim. Her harrowing depiction of a woman addicted to weight loss pills showcased her commitment to her craft and her ability to tackle challenging roles. Director Darren Aronofsky admired her fearlessness and incredible range, which allowed her to bring such humanity to her character. These breakthrough moments have made Ellen Burstyn a respected and admired figure in the world of acting, with her work leaving a lasting impact on both her peers and audiences alike. Ellen Burstyn is an accomplished actress, having received numerous awards and honors throughout her career. In the 1950s, she won a Tony Award for her performance in Fair Game. In 1971, she received an Academy Award nomination for The Last Picture Show. The following year, she won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. Throughout her career, Burstyn has been nominated for six Academy Awards and has won several other accolades, including two Emmy Awards and three Golden Globe Awards. In 1975, she won a Golden Globe for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore and another in 1979 for same time. Next year, she also received an Emmy Award for The People vs. Gene Harris in 1982 and Law & Order Special Victims Unit in 2009. In addition to her individual achievements, Burstyn has been a part of several successful films and television shows. She was nominated for an Academy Award for her role in The Exorcist in 1974 and Requiem for a Dream in 2001. She also appeared in popular films such as The Spitfire Grill, Resurrection, and Interstellar. Burstyn is also a dedicated activist and has been involved in various causes throughout her career. She has been a longtime advocate for women's rights and has been involved in several organizations promoting mental health awareness. Overall, Ellen Burstyn's awards and honors are a testament to her talent and dedication as an actress. Her contributions to the film and television industry have been significant, and she continues to inspire and captivate audiences with her powerful performances. Ellen Burstyn, a highly respected actress, is known for her deep immersion into her roles, often drawing from her personal experiences to bring authenticity to her characters. She has a unique ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and precision. Burstyn's approach to acting is methodical and intense, yet she maintains a sense of spontaneity and flexibility, allowing her characters to evolve organically. Her worldview and life experiences are vividly reflected in her work. For instance, in her role as Sarah in the film Resurrection, Burstyn incorporated her own spiritual journey into the character, creating a powerful and moving performance. She has also been open about how her experiences as a single mother have influenced her work, adding depth and nuance to her characters. Burstyn's artistic vision is centered around authenticity and truthfulness. She once stated, I'm always looking for the truth in a scene, and I'm not afraid to go to the dark places to find it. This commitment to authenticity, combined with her versatile acting skills, has resulted in a body of work that is both diverse and deeply personal. In her career spanning over five decades, Ellen Burstyn has left an indelible mark on the world of acting, with her unique style and approach continuing to inspire aspiring actors and captivate audiences. Ellen Burstyn, born at 400 AM EST, received the National Board of Review's Career Achievement Award in December 2000 at Tavern on the Green. In her acceptance speech, she likely expressed gratitude for the recognition of her life's work, but there is no specific quote available. One of Burstyn's notable roles was as Chris McNeil in the 1973 film The Exorcist, which received mixed reviews from critics. Paul and Kale, a prominent film critic, criticized the film's treatment of the demonic possession of a child 
stating that it lacked depth and sensitivity towards the child's suffering and her mother's anguish. Kale also questioned the motives of the 400 and 99 mothers whose daughters were rejected for the role of Reagan, the possessed child. Despite Kale's criticism, Burstyn's performance in The Exorcist was widely praised and she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Her portrayal of Chris McNeil, a successful actress and mother, was a powerful and emotional depiction of a woman grappling with her daughter's inexplicable illness and the possibility of supernatural forces at play. Burstyn's career spans over five decades, and she has been recognized for her contributions to the film industry with numerous awards and nominations. Her work has left a lasting impact on the industry and continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers. Ellen Burstyn is a highly respected actress in the film industry, known for her powerful and compelling performances. She has made significant contributions to the field with a career spanning over five decades. Burstyn has not only excelled in her craft, but also paved the way for future actresses with her dedication and talent. One of Burstyn's most notable contributions to the industry is her ability to portray complex and multidimensional characters. She has often chosen roles that challenge societal norms and push the boundaries of what is expected of women in film. Her performance in the movie, The Last Picture Show, is a prime example of this, where she played a discontented housewife who seeks excitement and fulfillment outside of her marriage. Burstyn's impact on the industry is also evident in her influence on storytelling. She has been a strong advocate for stories that reflect the realities of women's lives, often choosing roles that explore themes of empowerment, resilience, and self-discovery. Her work has inspired many filmmakers to create more nuanced and authentic female characters. Industry experts and those inspired by Burstyn have praised her contributions to the field. According to film critic Manila Dargis, Ellen Burstyn is one of the greatest actresses of her generation, with a body of work that is both diverse and deeply personal. Actress Meryl Streep has also spoken about Burstyn's influence, stating, Ellen Burstyn has been a trailblazer for women in film, and her impact on the industry is immeasurable. In addition to her acting prowess, Burstyn has also been a champion for women's rights and equality in the film industry. She has used her platform to advocate for more opportunities for women both in front of and behind the camera. In conclusion, Ellen Burstyn's contributions to the film industry are significant and far-reaching. Her ability to portray complex characters, her influence on storytelling, and her advocacy for women's rights have all left a lasting impact on the field. Her work continues to inspire and captivate audiences, and her legacy will undoubtedly endure for generations to come. Ellen Burstyn, in her role as Alice Hyatt in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, shared the screen with Laura Dern, who played a girl eating an ice cream cone. Interestingly, the two actresses collaborated again in the tale, with Burstyn playing Nettie and Dern as Jennifer. In 1974, Burstyn advocated for Liv Ullman's Oscar consideration for her performance in Scenes from a Marriage. However, Ullman was ineligible due to Academy rules requiring TV presentations to be screened in theaters the same year. Consequently, Burstyn won the Oscar for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. Born in Detroit, Burstyn attended St. Mary's Academy in Windsor, Ontario, following her parents' divorce. After her mother's remarriage, she returned home. Her career, which includes her iconic role as Alice Hyatt, is marked by her unwavering commitment to her craft and advocacy for her peers. Ellen Burstyn, a renowned actress, has a rich personal life that complements her professional career. She is known for her deep involvement in various causes and philanthropic efforts. Burstyn is passionate about issues surrounding women's rights and has been a longtime advocate for the empowerment of women in the film industry. One of her most notable efforts includes her work with the nonprofit organization, the Screen Actors Guild Foundation Storyline Online, where she serves as a board member. This organization aims to promote literacy among children by providing free online storytelling videos featuring celebrated actors. Additionally, Burstyn is an active member of the Women's Media Center, an organization that works to ensure women's voices are heard and amplified in the media. She has also been involved with the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, where she has served as a governor representing the actor's branch. 
Beyond her philanthropic work, Burstyn's personal values and interests often inform her acting choices. She has a deep appreciation for complex and challenging roles, often choosing parts that explore the human condition and the struggles of everyday people. In her personal life, Burstyn is an avid reader and enjoys practicing yoga and meditation. She has spoken publicly about the importance of mindfulness and self-care in maintaining her physical and mental health. Overall, Ellen Burstyn's personal values and interests have significantly influenced her career and philanthropic efforts. Her dedication to women's rights, literacy, and the arts has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and beyond. Ellen Burstyn won the Best Actress Oscar for her role as Alice Hyatt in Alice Who Doesn't Live Here Anymore at the 47th Annual Academy Awards. She improvised the line, I don't sing with my ass, drawing from her own experiences in show business. Initially, John Kelly asked Burstyn if she wanted to direct the film herself, but she didn't feel confident. Instead, she recommended up-and-coming director Martin Scorsese after being impressed by his film Mean Streets. Despite Scorsese's lack of experience with female-centric stories, Burstyn was won over by his eagerness to learn. She encouraged him to approach the film from a woman's perspective, asking him, What do you know about women? To which he replied, Nothing, but I'd like to learn. Ellen Burstyn is a highly respected actress in the film industry, known for her powerful and moving performances. She has left a lasting impact with her work in movies like The Last Picture Show, The Exorcist, and Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, for which she won an Academy Award. When it comes to the future, Burstyn hopes to continue contributing to the industry through challenging and meaningful roles. She wants to tell stories that inspire and provoke thought in audiences. For aspiring professionals, Burstyn offers the following advice never stop learning and growing as an artist. Take risks and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Surround yourself with people who support and challenge you and always stay true to yourself and your craft. In conclusion, Ellen Burstyn's legacy in the film industry is one of dedication, talent, and impactful storytelling. Her future contributions promise to be just as meaningful inspiring aspiring professionals to strive for excellence and authenticity in their own work. On December 7, 1941, Ellen Burstyn turned nine years old, witnessing the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. That day also marked the release of the film The Boa Constrictor and an episode of Alice titled The New Improved Mill. Coincidentally, Burstyn had played the title role in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, the movie that inspired the TV series. In 2009, Burstyn achieved a milestone by becoming the 20th person to win the Triple Crown of Acting. Her accolades include an Academy Award for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore in 1975, a Tony Award for Same Time Next Year in 1975, and an Emmy Award for Law and Order Special Victims Unit in 29. During the filming of Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Burstyn, playing Alice Hyatt, shared a memorable moment. While filming a scene with Chris Christopherson, where their characters kiss for the first time, the wind kept blowing her hair around. A camera operator suggested that high winds could enhance love scenes, leading to a more authentic and engaging performance. Throughout her career, Ellen Burstyn has demonstrated her versatility and commitment to her craft, overcoming challenges, and delivering compelling performances that resonate with audiences. Ellen Burstyn is a truly inspiring figure in the entertainment industry. She began her career in the 1950s in, and quickly made a name for herself with her exceptional talent and dedication. Over the years, she has taken on a wide variety of roles, showcasing her incredible range and versatility as an actress. From her early days on the stage to her groundbreaking work in film and television, Burstyn has always brought passion and innovation to her craft. She has never been afraid to take on challenging roles or to push boundaries, and her work has had a profound impact on the industry as a whole. One of Burstyn's most notable achievements was her performance in the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. This role was a turning point in her career, and it helped to establish her as one of the leading actresses of her generation. But Burstyn's impact goes far beyond her own performances. She has also been a tireless advocate for women in the industry, working to create more opportunities for women both in front of and behind the camera. 
Throughout her long and storied career, Ellen Burstyn has shown us the power of creativity and perseverance. Her passion, innovation, and enduring impact are a testament to the importance of following one's dreams and never giving up, even in the face of adversity. She is a true inspiration to us all. Ellen Burstyn's performance as Alice Hyatt in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore was enhanced by Martin Scorsese's directing approach. With a cast of actors from the actor studio, including Burston, Diane Ladd, Harvick Keitel, and Lilia Goldoni, Scorsese utilized improvisations inspired by John Cassavetti's films and incorporated them into the script. In the Broadway production of Same Time, next year, Burston played Doris, a role she reprised in the film adaptation. The play, written by Bernard Slade, received a Tony Award nomination for Best Play and ran for winning 453 performances from 1975 to 1978. Burston won the 1975 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Drama for her performance. Dying Young starred two Best Actress Academy Award winners Julia Roberts, who won for Aaron Brokovich in 2000, and Ellen Burstyn, who won for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore in 1974. The movie's producer, Sally Field, also won Best Actress Academy Awards for Norma Rae in 1979 and Places in the Heart in 1984. Ellen Burstyn, in her role as Alice Hyatt in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, faced a new challenge singing. Despite having the worst voice and being able to carry a tune, Burstyn was determined not to have a professional singer like Marnie Nixon replace her vocals. She dedicated six months to working with piano and singing teachers to prepare. Burston, with her recent success from The Exorcist, was given total creative control over this project by the studio. She aimed to create a film about a woman facing real-life problems and wanted an up-and-coming filmmaker as the director. After selecting the script, Brian De Palma suggested Martin Scorsese, who impressed Burston with his work on Mean Streets. Although Burston was initially hesitant due to Scorsese's reputation for directing men, she hired him after he expressed his eagerness to learn about women's experiences. During the production of Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Warner Brothers executives wanted to cut the opening sequence featuring Alice as a little girl in Monterey. However, Scorsese threatened to remove his name from the project if the scene was cut, ensuring its inclusion in the final film. Ellen Burstyn passed on the lead role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest due to her husband's illness. Before acting, she worked as an acrobat and a model for paperback covers. Warner Brothers, impressed by her performance in The Exorcist, sent her several scripts. Finding the female characters to be victims, wives, or sex objects, she declined, seeking a lead role. This led to her casting as Alice Hyatt and Alice doesn't live here anymore. Ellen Burstyn is an accomplished actress, known for her powerful performances in various films. In the movie Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, she played the lead role of Alice Hyatt, alongside fellow Oscar winners Jodie Foster and Laura Dern, as well as Oscar nominees Chris Christopherson, Diane Ladd, and Harvick Keitel. Burstyn's acting career is not limited to her own performances, as she has also served as a mentor to other actors, including Megan Mullally. In addition to Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Burstyn's film credits include The Last Picture Show, where she acted alongside four other Oscar winners and four Oscar nominees. Burstyn's talent and dedication to her craft have earned her a well-deserved place among the most respected actors in the industry. Ellen Burstyn has shown a particular interest in playing the character of Jean Harris, earning Emmy nominations for her portrayal in The People vs. Jean Harris, and as an ex-lover of Harris's lover in Mistress Harris, Burstyn's Emmy nomination for a 15-second performance in Mistress Harris marks a unique achievement. In 2001, People magazine recognized Burstyn's physical beauty, featuring her as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. Burstyn's performance as Alice Hyatt in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore brought her an Academy Award. The Oscar was delivered to her in a liquor box by Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau at the stage door of the Broadway theater where she was working. When Burstyn asked Matthau what an Oscar really meant, he replied, When you die, the newspapers will say, The Academy Award-winning actress Ellen Burstyn died today. Ellen Burstyn is a highly acclaimed actress, known for her powerful and compelling performances. She won an Oscar for her portrayal of Alice Hyatt in the 1974 film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, 
a role she took on to work with Martin Scorsese and ensure the character wouldn't become a cliched woman's picture. Hurston is one of only 17 actresses to achieve the triple crown of acting, having won an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony. This prestigious group includes Helen Hayes, Ingrid Bergman, Shirley Booth, Liza Minnelli, Rita Moreno, Maureen Stapleton, Jessica Tandy, Audrey Hepburn, Anne Bancroft, Vanessa Redgrave, Maggie Smith, Helen Mirren, Frances McDormand, Jessica Lange, Viola Davis, and Glenda Jackson. In 2005, Burston was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award in acting at the Savannah Film Festival, recognizing her significant contributions to the world of acting. Her work continues to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. In 2006, Ellen Burstyn released her memoir, Lessons in Becoming Myself, offering a glimpse into her life and career. One of her most notable roles was as Chris McNeil in the classic horror film The Exorcist. Burstyn had reservations about a line in the original script where her character claims to believe in the devil, but not in God. During the filming of The Exorcist, many reactions were genuine rather than acted. For instance, burst and scream and facial expression after being slapped by Reagan were due to being pulled too hard by a harness. Similarly, Linda Blair's screaming was a reaction to being bounced around on her bed. William O'Malley, who played Father Dyer, recalled that William Friedkin slapped him before shooting a scene, causing his hand to tremble while blessing Father Karras. Ellen Burstyn, born Edna Ray Gillily in 1932, is a successful actress with a compelling personal history. In 1950, she underwent an illegal abortion while five months pregnant, which left her unable to have children. Her parents, Austin and Corinne Gillily, were married in Ohio in 1928, with Ellen's mother hailing from North Dakota and her father from New Jersey. Burston has a special bond with Marcia Gay Harden, her co-star in The Spitfire Girl. She is the godmother of Harden's children, further illustrating the close-knit nature of the acting community. Despite the challenges she faced early in her life, Burston has forged a successful career in Hollywood, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Ellen Burston, known for her role as Chris McNeil in The Exorcist, wore a bracelet with a horseshoe on it, symbolizing her character's vulnerability against the devil. She gave the bracelet to Linda Blair on the last day of filming, and years later, they coincidentally met on a flight, with Blair still wearing it. Burston has also been a prominent figure in the film festival circuit. She was a member of the official competition jury at the 27th Berlin International Film Festival and the Cannes Film Festival in 1981, and co-head of the jury at the Berlin International Film Festival in 1988. In 2000, the Yards marked a significant milestone as Burston, Mark Wahlberg, and Joaquin Phoenix's first film of the 21st century. This movie showcased their collective talent and marked the beginning of a new era in their careers. Let's take a moment to talk about the incredible career of Ellen Burstyn, a truly gifted actress. With a career spanning over six decades, she has made her mark in film, television, and theater. Some of her most memorable roles include The Last Picture Show, The Exorcist, and Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, for which she won an Academy Award. Ellen Burstyn has consistently delivered captivating and powerful performances, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Her work has touched the hearts of many and has inspired generations of actors. Now, we would love to hear your thoughts on Ellen Burstyn's work and legacy. What are some of your favorite performances? How has she impacted you as a viewer? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. If you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Let's celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment industry together. Your engagement helps us continue to create and share these stories with you. Thank you for being a part of our community.